pull clip. Undo the four, one, two, three, four engine bolts. Undo one, two screws to take off the inspection panel and the same on the other one. Undo grounding cable, 12mm bolt. Undo four bolts to take off the X strut. bolts back on the holes and on the nuts. Put them back where you found them. Move this intercooler to intake. Remove this plate here with these four bolts, 12 mil. Undo the turbo to intercooler pipe. Pull out dump valve vacuum line. Cover hole so you don't drop anything down there. Undo the wire holding the throttle. Undo the wire hot from the throttle cable and then undo these two bolts. Remove this out, just out the way for the moment. Put the two bolts back in the hole. This is a sensor from my aftermarket ECU so I'm going to undo that. Move that out of the way. Now undo the four bolts to take this off and remove. Place the bolts back in the holes. Remove the four bolts holding this bracket. Then that pulls out like that. And put the two bolts back so you know remember where they go remove the covers from the cruise control remove the line and undo one two bolts. Use a long reach to get to the third bolt that's holding the cruise control unit to the car. On the underside of the cruise control there are two wire connectors. Undo both of them. You remove them, move the that out of the way for the moment. Now this is loose. And now we need to undo the other part of the cruise control. Using a 10mm spanner, you can undo these nuts from the underside, like so. Use a 10mm spanner from there and there to loosen this off. Right here, remove the 10mm bolt of this vacuum line and hard line there. This removes the grounding cable as well, so you can remove that to be able to get the cruise control out. The, um, this is the main throttle cable coming in, so just pull that out from, from there. Undo those two bolts and then this cable will come out. Then 
that will come out like that. And here is all of the cruise control unit. Place all the covers back on with the screws so you don't lose them. The throttle cable unclips from there and just put to one side. Undo the diagnostic and boost control bracket from that turbo pressure sensor thing. Remove the vacuum line here from the intake. Like that. Move that down out of the way for the moment. Just over there. And place the bolt back in the hole so you don't mislay it. I've removed this hose from the cover. I've removed the electrical connector and I've removed from the fuel rail this hose from this one. Remove this hose there completely. Undo the fan clip and then the oxygen sensor clip and the I think that's the cat sensor, which we don't use. Um, when you've undone those things, there's normally two bolts on this. But I don't have any bolts. This just comes off on mine, and then that's now loose. Put to one side. Remove the black clip from there, and then undo one two, three, four bolts. When uh, this is off, remove the remaining hoses. With all those hoses now removed, I can now remove this throttle body. I put the uh, small hose back on, the other hose I left on, and I put the four bolts back in. Pull out the four HT leads, and then just put to one side to allow for some room like so so I've removed every HT lead from the distributor cap remove the catch can vacuum hose and this other hose from there And there's one more hose at the back there. Remove the PCV hose. I just removed the catch can completely. Remove the hose from my air intake and undo the clamp to the turbo. And remove. Pull the hose from the turbo going to this boost solenoid thing here. And then pull the other hose from the actuator, from the solenoid here. And then remove the solenoid. Remove the king lead from the uh, distributor cap. That, like that. And put with the other HT leads. Remove the charcoal filter to give you more room. There's a hose here, which is on the top. I've removed the vacuum hose which went into the intake and on the bottom side there is another hose right there. Remove the two screws and take out the distributor cap completely like so. And then place the two screws back in. Next, undo the rotor arm with the two Phillips screws in the end there. And the 
metal part faced B1. So with a 14, just get in there like that and remove the 14mm bolt holding the engine hanger. And then with a 12mm spanner, just undo that engine hanger. It just makes loads of room for taking the distributor out, just there. And then from the bottom of this sensor, move the hose that attaches to there. And then from this, remove this hose here. And then with all those hoses removed, this comes off just like that. Now we've got clear access to the distributor and other. Now remove the two 14 mil bolts holding the distributor one and two. Just note how it was in, there's a slight gap at the top. Undo the clip underneath and then pull out the distributor. Disconnect the oil pressure switch or something or whatever that is. Nice and gentle. Just turn that out. Take the switch and put it in a safe place. Take the hose off of that um, fuel pressure regulator thingy. Drain all the coolant down from the front radiator. Undo the two bolts holding the coolant neck and then take this off from there, like so. Undo the 10mm bolt that's holding that fuel line we disconnected earlier so it comes away from this cooling body. Same with the other fuel line attached to the bottom one. Remove that. Unplug the green one, the grey one, and then they're loose. Remove the two 14mm bolts from the coolant neck and on the bottom one I use a long reach. Remove the coolant neck from the cylinder head and just put the bolts in the gasket so you know where, where they went and you need a new gasket. Remove the three bolts holding this heat shield and remove. Remove the oil filter and the dipstick. Remove the dipstick tube. Next is to remove the bolts from this heat shield and remove. Remove the oxygen sensor. Undo the four, one, two, three, four fuel injector clips. Undo the cold injector from the fuel rail. And that was a banjo bolt with two copper washers. And then lift out the fuel rail, making sure you don't lose any of the insulators there. I completely removed the cold injector start thing from the fuel. There's also three little black things, like little spaces that you must fish out. Unscrew the cover, but take these two guides out. Put to one side. Remove four, three, three, three short ones, three long ones, and four short ones. And then remove the cylinder head cover. 